Amun Nebu Reach Ta, as I am known throughout the mystic schools, the incarnation. Are you listening, people? The incarnation of Tihuti. The incarnation of Tihuti. Student of the great tomb known as Atum Re. The first point of resurrection from ignorance to the right knowledge, the right wisdom, and the right understanding. I have blended in with each of the religions most interesting to my people. I have lived as one of them, practiced as one of them in order to reveal the misconceptions of these doctrines that have plagued and diseased the minds of my people. Speaking amongst the Arabs in the degree of Mohammedism, I was known as a Sayyid Isa Al Hadi Al Mahdi or simply Imam Isa. Being fluent in the many dialects as well as the classical Arabic language. I translated word for word. Without biasness in favor of the Islamic religion, the Quran from Syriac Arabic to English. I sat beneath the great Shuyukh as a student, one of which was Mahmoud, Muhammad Mahmoud, and the great, and the great master Karama Sheikh El Hasun of the Khalwati order of Sufis out of Sudan, as a Mahdiya or Ansar. As a Moorish American, under the noble Drew Ali, as M. Yokel, I republished and revised the Holy Quran Circle 7, their connection with the NOI, Nation of Islam, known as the Black Muslims, encouraged me to do an in-depth study of the teachings of Master W.D. Muhammad. Allah in a person. To his final messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Which led me to another ex-member of the Nation of Islam called Clarence 13X. The self-styled Allah who founded the 5% nation of gods and goddesses. I collected data and published the problem book, their interpretation of the English class lessons of the nation of Islam amongst the Hebrew Israelites. While in the degree of Mohammedism, I was known as Rabboni Yeshua El Hari. As a Hebrew, I was bar mitzvahed by the great Rabbi Matthews of Harlem through the schools of Judaism. I translated the Torah and the Psalms from the ancient Hebrew into English amongst the Christians in the degree of, of, of Christism. In the degree of Christism. I translated and explained the book of Revelation from the Galilean Arabic to the ancient Greek and the ancient Greek. In this day and time, I received the new holy tablets, our old scripture that each day as scientists 
astronomers, paleontologists, and the likes uncover new evidence confirming that it was indeed divinely inspired and not a merely a book, but a revelation, a holy scripture, with, with prophecies of the future which are manifesting daily. Also, I translated the book of the coming forth by day called the Egyptian Book of the Dead from hieroglyphics as Amun Nubi Rakata. I also released a series of books called Behind the Nine Board and Bible Interpretations and Explanations. I felt it is my duty as the ref true reformer and savior the true reformer and savior to my people to make that which is unclear clear. I have also revealed the doctrine of those so-called Hebrew Israelites and the likes with a series of books called 360 questions to ask and three volumes of over 1,000 pages each entitled, entitled Degree of Mosesism, Degree of Christism, and the Degree of Mohammedism, covering any questions that anyone could have pertaining to any of the three monotheistic religions. I have traveled the rough and rugged path of Freemasonry and have arrived as the Imperial Grand Potentate internationally of the ancient Arabic and Oriental order nobles of the mystic shrine Mecca temple number 11 Macon Georgia and the imperial grand potentate of the ancient Egyptian order and Arab nobles of the mystic shrine El Mahdi shrine temple number 19 Macon Georgia Macon Georgia northern and southern jurisdiction the worshipful master of Nuwabian International Grand Lodge AF and AM also Deputy Grand Master Pride of Georgia Grand Lodge AF and AM 33rd Scottish Rite Freemason of Amos Grand Lodge of Macon, Georgia I as El Mufti sit on the Grand and on the Council of Nine, the International Supreme Grand Council of Shrine Ahlil Bayt. I entered the order of Acacia under the most worshipful master, the illustrious Charles Tinsley, 33rd degree, of King Solomon's Lodge Number no. 4 of Brooklyn, New York. The Grand Enoch Lodge in Brooklyn, New York on Putnam and Nostra Avenue. Prince Hall affiliated and of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite Freemasonry AF and AM jurisdiction of Georgia called Zerubbabel Grand Chapter Royal Ash Mason United States and Canada my travels took me through the world from sitting with mystics and the monks under the master Lama Mot Okoman of China to the Grand Lodge in Cairo, Egypt, Northeast Africa, to being a member of the Rosicrucian Order since 1974, as well as Astara Mystic Order since 1975-80 for more than 25 years, as the Supreme Grand Hierophant of the ancient Egyptian order, Mir Pyramid number nine. My family have been Freemasons for generations in the Virginia Zen Shrine Temple number 122, Newport News, Virginia, and daughters of Isis Zen Court number 98, Prince Hall affiliated. I stepped on the White Lodge Freemasonry, the White Nile, and the Blue Nile, and the Blue Lodge of Freemasonry, the Blue Nile, from the Black Egyptian Mystery as Dijihuti, Zihuti, Tihuti Thoth, 
called Hermes Price Times Great. Here it is. He did it again, people. This is whom Moses was talking to in the burning bush. This is who Moses called God. Yet, what do you call him? A regular petty convict. Wow, people. The possessor of the master's key. Keeper of the secret word to become a Haru, Hero, Horus. A companion of the great Hierophant, I am Hotep. The scribe of secret doctrine. Conferrer of the 720 degrees of the sacred number nine. And the guardian of the ninth gate, raising from the ninth chamber in possession of the secret, which will give you the power to realign yourselves. I was there, which is here, when the word, let there be light, was uttered. I have stood the test of time. I have been questioned by scholars and historians in all religions and denominations. I am capable of answering the own answer and solving the problems of the world. Yet, my personal interest is in each and every one of you. I am not a holy man or a preacher. I am a master teacher. I have resurrected in the West the ancient fraternity. AEO. With healing in my wings, the spiritual order of our ancestors, the Egyptians, and your true bloodline under the reincarnation of Amun Nobi Ra Akhpata, you are fairty Piro in this day and time, Atumri. I have experienced all religions and sacred orders, and now I bring you the ancient Egyptian order, AEO, the true order of the Egyptians that which give birth to all others. And in this day and time, it has become the fastest growing movement for world peace of the new millennium. You have found your way to that which you have sought all your life. Don't believe a word I say. Check it out for yourselves. Only fools duck when the truth is thrown at them. On page three of the scroll entitled Pa Ashutat Shil Padaram Tamareye At or The Prayer of the Ancient Egyptians, Digi Huti continues. I have stressed since 1967-80 before establishing the first community in 1970-80 that I came giving you what you want That you will so that you will learn to want what I have to give. Well, we have reached the end of the 30-year period, broken up into three steps of 10 years each, 
and we moved on into the higher knowledge the overstanding you should have mastered the knowledge compiled into three books the degree of Mosesism the degree of Christism and the degree of Mohammedism and with those three the rudimentary degrees of the lesser mysteries have become of age to move on from three to four degrees of the middle chamber Sufism, Kabbalahism, Magiism and Sumerianism then on to the seven degrees which covered all the Sumerian and Far Eastern studies embodied in the sons of the green light Sufi order and the ancient and mystic order of Melchizedek the Essene, the Magi order completing these four will now prepare you to open the eighth chamber on into the ninth chamber of the ancient Egyptian order you have been trained over a period of 30 years on how to learn an ancient language being taught Arabic Hebrew some Greek and cuneiform now you have you are prepared to learn the language of tones that vibrates with your body so that you may find your place in the grand plan prayer is an exercise for just that purpose and language is the key to prayer you speak then you learn the art of listening according to the black book number two scroll 12 verses 56 to 65 authored by noble reverend Dr. Malachi Z. York L. 33 degrees, 720 degrees it states going back to the story of Ray in the beginning there was neither heaven nor earth and nothing existed except the boundless mass of primeval water which was shrouded in darkness and which contained within itself the germs of and beginnings male and female of everything which was to be in the future world the divine primeval spirit which formed an essential part of the primeval matter felt within itself the desire to begin the work of creation and its word woke to life the world from the form and shape of which it had already depicted within itself the first act of creation began with the formation of an egg out of the primeval water from which emerged Ra the immediate cause of all life upon the earth the almighty spirit of the divine spirit embodied itself in its most brilliant form in the rising sun when the inert mass of primeval matter felt the desire of the primeval spirit to begin the work of creation it began to move and the creatures which were to constitute the future world were formed according to divine intelligence Mat. under the intelligence of Tihuti or that form of divine intelligence which created the world by a word Nuavians, you are allowing yourselves <laughs> to be seduced by black devils and the tamahu, which means living filthy, into disrespecting divine intelligence. Let's continue. Eight elements for males and for females arose out of the, 
out of the primeval Nu, which possessed the properties of male and female. The eight elements were Nu, also Nor, also called Nun, Onor, and Nunet Nar. Also, who are or have and he had. He had. Also, here and had he. Kek and kicked. deities of darkness and void who were responsible for removing the black dust that covered the planet earth so that the sun's light may shine through and Amun and Amunet collectively called Chiminu or the eight also known as Abduat. The purpose of the number four is genetics. We are speaking of four generation of genetic breeding, which in turn became four more generations of 400 years, altogether 800 years, which we had a genetic, genetically bred beings transformed from one being into the next, a form of grafting and they were considered as primeval fathers and mothers. Uncle. They appeared they appeared in two forms. As apes, four males and four females were used in the breeding process, who stands in adoration of the sun and greet him with songs of him and praise. Four having the heads of frogs and four the heads of serpents. This is symbolic of, for instance, Genesis chapter 3, where a being called Nachash, a whisperer, is translated as serpent. This is also symbolic of the relationship of homo sapiens with reptilians. The fact that in the gestation period of reproduction in, in Egyptian Pa'unu Bashura, the human being passes through the stage of a tadpole having gills and a tail, confirms that they are in fact reptilian or Maldekian troglodytes. Maldikian or troglodytes were those who inhabited the seas of this planet while it was in a state of void and darkness. Genesis 1, 2 and Jeremiah 4, 23 through 26 as they state. The birth of light from the waters and fire from the moist mass of primeval matter and of ray from noon form the starting point of all mythological speculations, conjectures, and theories of the ancient of the Egyptian priests. The light of the sun gave birth to itself out of chaos. That is talking about when 554 million tons of hydrogen change into 500 million, 550 million tons of helium every second. Out of chaos, it's speaking of the original suns that exploded and the conception of the future world was depicted by Tihuti, the divine intelligence. Come on y'all, can it get any clearer than this? You have been overcome by the Tihuti, the master magician 
and illusionist. His incarceration was meant to fool and trap the devil, not you. You got fooled also because you were not studying the Waupo diligently enough. That's all right, though. Don't feel too bad, for he is Dijihuti, Zihuti, Otihuti. The Greeks called him Hermes Trismegistus, three times great, from the Tamarian name Harmos. Do you see that? He is not just great, but three times great. So, speaking, your Milky Way was formed from a massive sun called Sal, collapsing and exploding outwards. Then that Milky Way exploded again and gave birth to your present day sun called Shamush or Helios, which is 93 billion years old. Before this sun called Shamush became a ball of gas containing hydrogen and helium, it was an active planet called Aum, like the song you're hearing, containing all the planets, moons, satellites, which make up this solar system today. The solar system was one of 19 planets that surrounded a more massive sun called Sal. Sal was, the, was named after its original ruler, Sal, or Sol, whose wife's name was Arena. Their combined rulership gives you the name Sal Arena or shortened to Sol R or simply Solar. This massive sun Sol collapsed and exploded outward. And Aum got caught in the gravitational pull of Sol. And it exploded and gave birth to your son Shamush. All 19 of the planets were hurled off into space and exploded to create 19 galaxies in space and beyond. When Tihuti gave the word, what he commanded at once took place by means of Ptah, the opener, Ptah, the opener, Khunum, Khunum, the molder or the potter, the fashioner, Khansu, Khansu, the traveler, the Holy Ghost, and Anubu. And Anubu, the messenger of heaven and hell, angel of death, who are the visible representatives that turn Tehuti's commands into deeds. Patar, symbolize the opening. Which would be the beginner, which the Bible and the Quran use as the Aleph or the Alpha along with the Omega as the beginning and the end of all things. He was called the beginning of Patar. For Patar is translated from the word Tar, T A A T A R, who are the original inhabitants 
of planet Earth. The true the nigger. Pygmies or the wolves. The Patahites called Mu, Mem, Azizan, Memortia, Hua, the Wang or the Nega, the Nega. They are also called Deng from Tinka, the son of Abu of the Watusi, who mixed with them. The Taites were the original inhibitors of Africa when it was called Ganawa or Gnawa. Later it was divided into separate lands. Now Hunum Khnimu, the fashioner, was a Natir supreme being of fertility and the creation. He was known as the Pora Natir supreme being for he is often shown in sacred paintings in the art of modeling human beings modeling human figures from a potter's wheel each with its car spirit or double alongside as he created humanity he allotted each one of them a period of time on ta earth beyond which no man could live his name literally means the mold Khnum Khnimu created the cosmic egg having turned it upon his wheel Khnum made the egg of the sun and Patar gave it to the Nitir of Light, a finished body. Khnum is identified with the Fashina El Musawiru, the creator El Khaliku, used in the Quran of the Mohammedans and the Torah of the Jews and the Old and New Testament of the Christians. He is identified as the being that took the clay, the dust of the ground, the black mud and fashioned and shaped the human body before the breath of divine life was breathed into him or her. This is symbolic of the actual creation of mortals by the immortals. The Bible Genesis 2 7 states dust of the ground. The Quran 1528 states from black mud, as well as Quran 6 2, which states from clay. The first company of the Nitirat supreme beings consisted of Shu 